Hey, Coach, thanks for taking the time today. Thank you. How you doing? We'll get started here with Mike Kay and then Paul Domowicz. Hey, Tracy, nice to meet you. Um, I know it's the NFL, uh, but how difficult of a decision was it to leave your alma mater after a week uh, to take this job? <laughs> I don't I, the decision is always tough because that's somewhere, you know, I got my degree, had a great career there, a lot of great people. Um, so, but, you know, this is one of the ultimate um, jobs out there at the highest level of football. So it was, a, it was a very easy decision to make. Go ahead, Paul, and then Dave Zangaro. Yeah, Tracy, I was curious, uh, your early impressions of your defensive line group and also – how much of your role do you view as, as, as elevating these guys with, and developing them, guys like Sweat and Barnett, to a, to a place where they have yet to go? Well, I wouldn't, I, well, my answer to that question, I don't to say they haven't yet to go. I think with, in this business, we're always looking for improvement from every player. Each year, we want more improvement from everyone. My job is to, one, is the, to, 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 to talk about toughness, competing, um, situation awareness, um, and, and knowing what we're doing on doing certain situations. And most of all, play the game with, 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 with pride. And, 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 and I always have, you know, you care about what you do, do the best at your job. Those are the things that are important to me about this game because it's such a great, it's the ultimate team game. And that's what's important to me about that group that I have because they're very um, – I, I, what I love about that group is that they're very smart, not just in football, but just the way they carry themselves off the field. So it's been exciting for me with the, the carry just communicating with everyone in the room. Go ahead, Dave, and then Zach Berman. Hi, Tracy. It's pretty obvious that Milton Williams has a, a ton of athleticism. Uh, what's it going to take for him to turn that athleticism – uh, into becoming a contributor this year? Um, Milton, um, just just this last couple of weeks of what Milton has been really exciting. Um, he was he was a guy that we felt good about um, in the draft. Um, and so far, just working out in shorts and, and drill work um, has been really good. So we're definitely looking forward to him helping and contributing. I don't know when, I don't know where. But that will be determined, um, you know, once you put on the helmet and the shoulder pads. Um, I think that's where you see where people really actually function when the game. That's the part of toughness and situational football and, and understanding the defense. We all know. Zach and then Jeff McLean. Hey, Tracy, nice to meet you virtually. A, uh, a non-football question, more of a personal question. You've experienced the draft process as a player, as a college coach, as a, as a pro coach, what perspective do you have now that's unique to being the father of a top prospect? Well, I mean, I, I, I'm more of a dad and um, I, every, I know everyone's all excited about that, but I really, um, just, I'm more of a dad and um, I, that's what he does and I'm proud of him. I'm supportive of him and I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be a, a dang good dad and 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 God got him in the right way, and, and he did play football, and I totally get it. But I I, I kind of keep it, you know, I, we I kind of keep it out of my world because um it's totally two different sports, and they're very difficult to play. But thank you. How are you, you as a as as a father? How are you watching his games? Is it is is it different for you than than watching uh, a game you're 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 coaching? No, it's not. I don't think it's any different. I think I, the competitive edge is just in you. You know, it's, it's no different than me. It's no different than you or I sitting there watching the Sixers last night. You know, I'm, it's hey, we I want to win just like everybody else wants to win, and and I, it's no different than anything else. Well, if your own, if your child, you want them to you want them to do well, but you also have to realize that um, it's not going to always be a perfect situation, and it's up to you to. Um, how are you going to handle it? Because I realize in this business, um, we win, people act a different way. We lose, people act a different way. My biggest thing is how consistent are you as a person um, and, and your approach to, to business every day. And that's, that's my selling point as a father and as a coach to, to anyone you know, in sports.
is what's your approach every day? How are you going to, on the good and bad days, how are you going to approach today? Thank you. Go ahead, Jeff, and then John McMullen. Uh, Tracy, uh, uh, will the D lineman uh, be kind of pin their ears back and attack, or will it be read and react more, or will it be a, a hybrid of both? Well, I, th I think, you know, um, I think, you know, the thing is, is understanding um, we're going to be we're going to we're going to be attacking defense. But I think you have to also understand um, you. It's a thousand words out here. We got read, react. We got disruptive. We got this. Well, what about situational football, situational awareness? You know, you're not going to run the red light. You know, sometimes just it's about playing a play, understanding where you're located on the field. Um Hey, we're backed up. You know, do you think we need to be disruptive or do you think we need to key the ball? Um, so those are the things that are important to me as a coach. And uh, But I feel like us being, hey, understanding it's a time and place for everything, but I feel like we're going to be definitely um, – or, or we're going to have to read at times. We're going to have to be disruptive at times. And sometimes you got to react. We're a reactionary. We're a defensive player, so we're a reactionary. And, um, and that's what we do. John and then Bo Wolf. Hi, Tracy. Um, the vast majority of your coaching career is obviously at the college level, but you were with the Titans. Uh, is there any uh, sort of difference from your perspective being a coach for college kids versus pros? Any, anything you shift in how you do things? Well, I think I think um, the shift is is that. Um, in, in, in college, you, you get kids at a lot younger age, and it's a, um, a bit more developmental um, growth there, um, not just on the field but off the field. And now when you become, you know, in the NFL, um, we assume that they know everything because we gave them money. And um, I think it still requires that you still have to um, – requires a, a little bit of more of a conversation about which we have in place in the NFL of um, development, rookie development. So that's in place. But as a coach, I, I feel like my job is to approach every day the same way, um, try to improve, um, to help them improve their game so that they can be successful. And also they want to be successful, but also we want to win. It's a we. We want to win. We, we are a team. And I think that's the concept of selling um, in the NFL, this team. Bo and then Martin Frank. Hey, Coach, how was, how was Kumar as a football player growing up? <laughs> I thought he was a very good football player. I wish he would have played for me. But, I mean, he's, he, he, he chose the right sport for him, and um, I'm proud of him. What position did he play? Um, defensive end, tight end, quarterback, whatever, whatever was needed at that time. And, uh, and I, my thing is, uh, he's more of a gym rat. I mean, he likes ball. I don't care what kind of ball it is. He, I had a ball junkie and, um, that's just due to, I don't know if it's, I, I mean, we're come from a family of, he was always with me in coaching. So he's a ball junkie. Thank you. We'll take the last two hands raised here. So go ahead, Martin, and then Mike. Hi, Tracy. Nice meeting you. Um, you're you're the, uh, the Eagles' fourth defensive line coach in, in six seasons, and obviously you got um, two veterans who've been around through all that and, and Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham. Um, what's it like working with those guys, you know, as far as their um, – I don't know, as far, as far as their willingness to learn, you know, another – you know, from another new coach and everything like that. I mean, how, how have you seen those guys since you've been here? Um, I, I've, I've enjoyed, um, I've enjoyed Fletch. I've, I've en enjoyed Hargraves. Um, my conversation with them is not just football. Um, you know, just talking about things that they do outside of football. And far as the coaching process, I mean, as a coach, I'm not sitting here and saying my way is always the right way. But I'm always willing to learn from others, and that's what you know. In this in this game, it, it's called coach me coach, and I don't know all the answers, and I'm not going. We and if you walk in and think you do, we all have to go out and find out. I'm always calling other coaches to 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 better myself, and there's no different than a player calling around talking to another player. Hey, what did what did you do? How did you do this? 
So I've enjoyed just working with them, and and the deal is I love about them is just their attitude and their toughness, and they're they're willing to compete, um, and 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 just practice hard and 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 have some drive about it. So that's been that's what's been exciting to me about them. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Tracy, I know you just missed uh, Derek Barnett at Tennessee, but I was curious, what kind of background did you have with him, at, if at all, uh, just knowledge of his play being in the SEC with when he was there? Um, and, and how has he kind of uh, taken to your coaching thus far? Uh, Derek, I, I've, I've really enjoyed Derek. Um, I, I, I miss Derek on his way out, but I, I saw Derek play throughout the league, which was very exciting. Um, but when I got to Tennessee, the first thing I heard of, about Derek was everyone spoke so highly of how great of a person he was and such a hard worker. And and now, you know, when I meet him, it's the same person, a hard worker, very smart, on and off the field. And I've thoroughly enjoyed working with him. And him and I, we know some of the same people. Um, just in through contact, and I'm always in Nashville, so it's been really enjoyable talking um, with him. Thanks for the time today, Coach. And thank you, y'all. Take care, gentlemen.